Hey guys, this is Regina from Inspire, and I am excited about today's show, and I'm excited that you tuned in. Hey look, we have this young man that is with us today that has a story that is really worth listening to. I think you'll be encouraged by it. His name is Mike Esparza. His story kind of takes you on some highs and some lows, but the end result is it pays the cost to be the boss. So I'll be back in a few minutes with Mike Esparza. So just as I said, here we are with Mike. So how's it going? Good, good. Thank you for having me. No, thank you for being here. Thank yes, you man, for thank being you. here. It's a pleasure. Yeah. I'm not going to get in your way today, Mike. I'm going to let you kind of just go for it. So take this time first and just let the people know exactly who you are. All right. Well, my name is Mike Esparza, 41 years old. I have three beautiful children. Um, I'm the owner of Mike's Barbershop, the Conroe and Porto location. Um, been in business about 10 years now. Been doing this about over 12 years now. Um, love what I do. It's, it's, been, it's been a rough ride to get where I'm at now at 41 years old than when I was a younger man and the trials and tribulations where I went through to get to where I'm at now. So Mike, had you always had a passion to be a business owner? Um, it's, it's funny you tell you, you ask me that because since a little kid, about fifth grade, you know, I grew up, you know, in in, in Greens Point. If people don't familiar, it's a it's a rough neighborhood in the '80s, oh, yeah. and it was pretty much rougher than back then what it is now, which is probably still rough. But when I grew up, uh, I didn't. My family were immigrants low income, my parents, great parents, but didn't have great jobs, eight siblings, you know, we struggled. Wait a minute, back up, eight? Eight kids, <laughs> my parents had eight kids. Can Two your mom this? <laughs> right, right. So it, it was rough growing up, but you know, me and my brothers always made way. We had to hustle, work, do anything, sell newspapers, four boxes, you know, anything that make a nickel, 25 cent, a dollar. To, to provide for us, you know, just to, to get through the days at times. Let me ask you something. When you did that, a lot of times I've heard stories where the kids, they had to help out, they had to work. And there have been two different types of responses. Some, they resented it. Uh, you know, they were angry that they even were put in that position. And then you have others that took it and they just ran with it. How did it make you feel knowing that you, well, you know what, I'm back up. How did it make you feel then? And how does it make you feel now? Uh, then it was natural for me. Then it's, it's, it was it was natural to do what what I did as go sell newspapers at the at the the uh, corners. I mean the uh, supermarkets mm -hmm. at fifth grade, fourth grade, selling newspaper and 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 making money and coming home to my mama where she'd been working all week and I done made what she made in, in the whole week and I made in two days and for my mom to see. The, the, just be like embracing me and, and, and embracing my brothers of the, the hard work we did and you know and, and and I mean it was just natural to me to come in and where I'm at now it kind of just I wake up and it's natural to me now it's like I've done did it so long and 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 it just comes natural to me to wake up and, and knowing that I could still put that same hustle I did when I was in fourth grade in, 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 in the fourth grade yes ma'am in the fourth, the fourth grade. grade. You know, when you're in fourth grade, you're not even thinking. You're trying to get outside and play. Right, right. But you said that it was it was natural. It was a it natural. It was natural to get up. It was natural to get up. Me and my brother, six in the morning, summertime. It was it was natural. It felt good to to earn going to school, 50, 60 bucks in fourth grade. A fourth grade little kid in the 80s, you know, you had 40, 50 bucks in the fourth grade. That was a lot of money. Yeah. You know, for a kid. You yeah, know that, I mean? that's a lot of money for a fourth but, grader. You know, right now. Right, right. <laughs> so I always been in that environment where I always, I always wanted to make money, and and they want that I wasn't married to my parents. It was just something that I wanted to help my parents. You wanted to you help. Know, I wanted to help my mom and dad because I know it was it was a lot of us. You know, in, in the two bedroom. I'm glad you said that 
in the two bedroom. I think that's important too. I didn't hear that before. Right. But all so it was ten of you actually. Right, ten of us in, in one, a two, two bedroom. Two, two bedroom apartment. Yeah, yeah, I got that. And 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 growing up then, it, it was hard. And it's you know we we were kind of the first Hispanics in the area where we moved into. So not just going out there to make a dollar, just going out there to survive as well too, mm -hmm. you know, as mm -hmm. you know, all the bad stuff that's going around us. Right. That right. get easy to get tangled with. And the area outside. where you were was predominantly black? Yes, ma'am. We moved in. And we moved we moved in and it was a black neighborhood, the first Hispanics. Mm -hmm. We was a target because we stuck out different already yeah. off the map. You yeah. know. Yeah. It was it was different for them, different from us. You know, we were immigrant kids mm -hmm. when we moved into the neighborhood. So how did that how did that go? It was it, it took it took a while because I wasn't bilingual. I didn't know English. Mm -hmm. It took a while to transform to to the English culture and, mm -hmm. and, and to meet friends. Mm -hmm. And it was rough. I went through a lot of you know fights, a lot of mm -hmm. you know going to, to to normal kid situations when you're in the neighborhood when you fight mm -hmm. each other and, and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. you know that even that you know you, you learn from it to get mm -hmm. along with people. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 where we at now in this society and, and mm -hmm. where the world is now. Right. I've been doing this a long time ago. Come on. So and, and it's just where I got we could adapt mm -hmm. and, and and not see people mm -hmm. for our different colors are different right, the way we're right. different are because we used to live in apartments mm -hmm. where we all were the same right everybody right. in the in the complex right we're all were doing bad right we're all Come your on. toy went better than my toy <laughs> right, you know right. what i mean i mean right. we, your shoes right. went better than my right. shoes right your parents didn't have a better job than mine come on we all lived and lived the same way right you know and and that's what we shared growing up together wow. you know what i mean wow so it, it was it was so you understood kind of, each other's right. struggle. You understood right. definitely, that. definitely. Wow. And then, and today, I understand people struggle now. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very blessed. Mm -hmm. I'm blessed mm -hmm. where I'm at now. My, mm -hmm. my oldest daughter's in college. Yeah. My daughter's going to graduate. My son plays football. Wow. And and the way I grew up, I never thought that would ever happen in my life. My wow. brother got murdered uh, in '97. Wow. That is not taken from us behind, you know, doing wrong, bad, bad mm -hmm. choices, mm -hmm. you know. So where I'm at now, I'm very blessed. And, and, and I'm blessed to, to live and to tell people my story, mm -hmm. to just share with mm -hmm. you and speak to you right. about where I've been at, because I wasn't even supposed to be here. You know what, Mike? Um, share a little bit about your relationship with your dad. How was that? Now, you know, my dad passed away. And, and it's, it's funny you say that, because... When I was a kid, and I, I never, I was always like, always tripping about my dad, always getting on to me, you know, hey, you know, simple things like, close the door, you letting the AC out, man. Yeah. You know, just things yeah. like that. But, man, why are you tripping all the time? Mm -hmm. But now I'm, I'm being a man, you know, I have kids, I see what he's talking about. Yeah. You know, he's gone, and sometimes I wish I could call him and be like, man, dad, I, I know what yeah. you, what you was telling me, the things you was trying to tell me as a man. Mm -hmm. But at that time, I took him for granted. Yeah. You know, just yeah. like a lot of these kids now, I'm taking a lot of things for granted. Mm -hmm. I took things for granted. Wow. You know, and, and it kind of opened my eyes where, like, man, I, I can't, I can't lose that time with my kids mm -hmm. that I did with my father. And and my father was a great man. Taught me a lot. He was a, 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 a real good hard worker. Mm -hmm. um, I was. He was a wonderful man. He didn't. He didn't know how to be a father uh -huh. as walking parks. Mm -hmm. me playing football, right. throwing the ball. He, right. he wasn't that father. But was it the, was it just because of life? He had right. to really be on his grind. Right. He didn't have time right. to really. Right. Was that it? That was perfectly yeah. pinpoint what it was. Mm -hmm. He didn't he didn't have time to take us to the park. He yeah. didn't have time to take us to play with us. Right. He had to work. You got eight kids to feed. You got to pay for lights. There you you go. Pay for an apartment. Yeah. You know. He didn't know how to do for other things that that, yeah. that I do with my kids, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, we say it's Spanish, cariño. Mm -hmm. and, and, and cariño in English is it's lovable. When you, you grab your son uh -huh. or your kid and you right. kiss him every day. Right. My dad didn't do that. You know, mm -hmm. my dad didn't do that. I, mm -hmm. I see my son, when I see my son, I embrace him. I tell him I love him. I call him at night. I just make sure he's cool. Make mm -hmm. sure he's going, you know, good right. morning. Thank you, Jesus, and all that. Right. My son, my dad didn't do that. He didn't right. know how to do that. He didn't know how to he, do that. All he knew was work, 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 right. work, pick, you know, try to give us what we had to right. survive. But that instilled that in you. And that's me. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. And, and a great work. And, and, and that's why I'm not, and, and that's where my employees, you know, 
I've been doing this barbering. It's it's uh it's been great to me. I I, I wish I'd have done it a long time ago. Um, but it I wasn't always uh it wasn't always uh, this story where no. you're making those right choices. No, no, sure uh, was. At some point in time, there was a shift that took place. Right. When was that, Mike? Uh, it was my younger years. I mean, like I said, it go back to when I was a young man. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, I've been, you know, honestly, I could be, I've been a hustler since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been an entrepreneur since I was a kid. Right. I right. always, I always worked for myself. I always right. made money for myself. Right. I always, I always had big dreams. Yeah. I always wanted something bigger. Yeah. I seen my dad struggle. Right. I always wanted more. Right. But that led me to the people that I, I idolized mm -hmm. that was around me. Who were those that you idolized? Uh, it was just drug dealers, mm -hmm. hustlers, yeah. everybody that was around me, pimps, hustlers, everything. I, everything you could imagine mm -hmm. in my complex it was. Growing was up. it just because of um, not so much that you idolized what they did, you just idolized what came from it? It just came. Or did you idolize what they it did was, at it the was just, It was just what I seen, mm -hmm. money, mm -hmm. cars, Power. clothes. Power, respect, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, that the type of stuff that I grew mm -hmm. up with. I didn't have a mentor. Right. You know, I didn't have people around me that went to college. Mm -hmm. I didn't have people playing football. Yeah. I didn't have nobody that even went to prom. I didn't even have, I, my last grade, I completed was sixth grade. Oh my. I didn't know, you know, I just go to school, sell drugs, and leave. Really? You know what I mean? So. To me, to have a mentor or to know what, what good, I didn't know what, what, what life was supposed to direct me. It was what I could do for me mm -hmm. instead of preparing myself for the future. I could have been a doctor. I could have done something else if I'd have had somebody stir me that way, but I didn't right. have that. Right. I, was, I was living what I see in front of me. Right, know? right. So this, man, this man got that car. Why he's doing it? This is what he's doing. So That's I'm going to do, do that it. thing right. to be able to do right. that. Right, and I'm going to do it better than him. Find a way to, to do to, to be his boss, right? You know, and 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 it got to a point where I did, right? And that's where it led me to trouble, right? So you, you know? started actually, uh, like, well, let me back up because you said all the way to sixth grade. So yeah, you're I, not telling me that you are this entrepreneur owning these several locations. No, and, I, 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 and I did you go a, back I, and get your GED? Yeah, I, had, I actually got my GED in prison. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't have my last education was sixth grade. Sixth grade. Uh, didn't complete no other grade after that. So I, in I, I went to high school because they placed me in high school to so my age. You know right, what I right, mean? Right, right, right. So I never completed anything but after sixth grade. And uh, it wasn't because it was just I didn't know no 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 better. You know, right. it, just, it wasn't no influence in me and no one right. good around me that I seen you pass to the grade. What, what am I do passing the seventh grade? What am I do passing the eighth grade? But right. it's not gonna do nothing right. for me. I know, it, I know that's important. Uh, I knew a young girl, she was ready to quit, man. We just all kind of gathered around and just, you know, encouraged her and, um, and she graduated from high school. And she would have quit because she was turning 20, you know, right. her senior year. But she hung in there and ended up in like the homecoming court and ended up, I mean, like she almost became like homecoming queen. You know, she was all a part of that right. because she had somebody there. And so I know exactly what you're saying. Right. It's important to hear this uh, because there's some uh, that don't have mentors, but you can still make it. Right. And, and I have big brothers. Mm hmm. But what is good if you have big brothers when y'all are doing the same all thing. Y'all are doing the same thing. You know. When did y'all all decide, you know what? We just gonna we go have for it. We, we we never, you know, to be honest with you, and in this, and I tell I tell people this, I wanted to go to prison. You was, wanted to I go? wanted to go to prison. Explain my, that. My Mike. dream was to go to prison. Mike, explain uh, that to me. Because all my brothers been to prison. Right. All my brothers had respect. There were somebody in the streets. My, their homeboys were somebody in the streets. And my, they got that by going to prison. Right. That's what you saw. That's what I seen. Wow. That's what I wanted to do when I was a kid. I used to play with my, my other little friends, like we're in prison. You know, that's, that's, I wanted to go to prison, not just that, so to prove to my brothers that I was the same way I could be, what you went through, what I go through, you know what I mean? Right. So the thing with me, when I was a kid, and this is like I said, I'm not proud of that. Yeah. I, you know, I eat it, because I, I, I lived it, I, I, yeah. I got to eat it, I accept what I am. Right. And, and at that time, 
I wanted to go to prison, and, and which I end up going to prison. You know what, Mike? I've never, ever heard anyone say as a little kid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 it's, it's, uh, it's it's sad to say, but that was that was the thing that at that time what I wanted to do. But see, I just kid. because I've never heard it, I mean clearly, it doesn't mean that there aren't those that aspire to right, do that. Right. You know. It's, uh, I thank you for even saying that because I think that that's something that needs to be made aware of that there are kids that really need somebody to speak in their lives. Right. You know, and even if you're like just at school for the time that you're in school, you know, I wish somebody had caught you, but God had his hand on you. I always wanted to get my story out. Right. You know, to be honest, to teach, to, 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 to let kids know, let somebody know. Right. Like, my choices in life wasn't, I wanted to be the bad kid. Right. I wanted, to, it was just my environment. It's just right. what I seen every day. I bred every day. I wake up every day. Right. And it, it was, and a lot of kids are still living there. You right, know what I mean? yeah. And it's, and it's. A prison mentality outside of a prison. Right. Being sewn into children. You know, right. Because those are the role models. You know, one time my mother had all six of her boys in jail. Oh my God. You know, and, and, and now that I'm a parent, Man, we we I, we hurt my mama, you know. Oh, yeah. We hurt her. Oh, yeah. They have all oh, her yeah. boys in jail one time. Yeah. Cause we all want to be in jail. Cause my brother in jail. You know, I'm gonna go. You know, I want to see my brother. I'm gonna go to jail. Uh, or not just that. I'm gonna go. Right. I was just living that life, life to get caught up to go to jail. Right. But right. it was nothing that I wanted to. Mm -hmm. If I'd have knew better, had mm -hmm. a better way, oh, my yeah. dad was something better. Yeah, lived somewhere yeah, yeah. in the woodlands, lived out here, yeah. you know, lived some. Yeah. I probably would never went, but that wasn't the case for me. It wasn't the case for my brothers. Oh, you know, me and my brother went through a lot. Lost one of my brothers, got murdered, you know, uh, uh, doing bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, he it, was it took... he was caught up in it, too? Yeah, you know, he was our oldest brother. He was he was the one we feared, the one that you have to go do what we have to do. Mm -hmm. If we didn't, you know, mm -hmm. we, we got to face him, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was a shot caller. It was just, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know... Um, Losing him took a lot out of me and, and all my family. Right. But it kind of made me, made me more uh, as a man when I was, well, I thought as a man, I was a man, as a young man, mm -hmm. angry, mm -hmm. wanted me to do more senseless things and not, you know, So when, you, when you lost him, it in anger, you yeah, right, enraged right. you. Yeah, right, right. It, it, it more, enraged so me it more. Kind of like, I didn't up. care about my life anymore. Oh I didn't really... God. I'm gonna get this money in my, in my mind. I'm gonna get this money, do what I have to do, and that's it. You know, that's just the way it is. And so, you know, not just that, seeing other people, you know, as go before, with my brother beforehand, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it was just part of life, you know. That you expected people to just die? Right, it was just normal. It was just the thing we lived in, in growing up. And um, when I would hear like young guys say that, well, I'm not gonna live any, I'm not gonna live to get old anyway. I would hear that it would make me sick to my stomach. I'm like going, why would you even say that? I there, was a, there was a generation and that they lived like that. Right. You know, it was fast and it was hard. And, right. and it just lived like that. Didn't expect. So they, they just took it all in right now. And right. if they didn't see tomorrow, oh well. I, I think that just comes based on, on the way of living of life where they're at. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just a factor of they're seeing the product of their environment. Yeah. This really is. You know, it's nothing that trying to, some kids like, it's like I tell my friends now, like, I wasn't trying to be a gangster. I wasn't trying to be a thug. I wasn't trying. To, I never seen myself of a gangster. Right. When my, my mom used to dress me when I was younger, mm -hmm. she only mm -hmm. bought us clothes that thugs wear on the street because that's all we could afford. Right. So I looked right. like a thug just because my mom took me school shopping. Right. You know right. what I mean? Right. So I fit right. to the profile of a gangbanger just because, right. hey, my mom only afford to buy chucks. My mom going to afford to buy Dickies. Right. You know, the $12 right. pants. Right. $2 shirt. Right. Now I look like a thug. So, you know, I attract other thugs. I already have a profile. I'm so, glad you said that. You know what I mean? I was talking to someone yesterday about that. And I was saying image is a lot. Right. It People, does. they judge you based off of what they see. Exactly. And that was not your heart. No, but it, that was that was out of necessity right. that you were wearing dickies. That was out of necessity that you were wearing chucks and the two because the resources were not there. Right. Wow. Right. So when was the first time you went to prison? I or went to better yet. When was the first time you went to jail? 
First time I went to jail, I caught a murder case. That's in seventh grade. I was uh Okay, just stop. From, in the seventh in grade? In the seventh grade. I went to juvenile. And uh, Was it your case? Yeah, it was, I was a part of a, 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 case, a murder case that happened, a drive-by. Uh, somebody got murdered. Uh, they charged me with it. Went to court uh, a couple years for it. Went juvenile. Um, I could have been in prison for a long time. It wasn't for the fact that my mom got me an attorney. And it took her a year or so to save up some money to get an attorney to actually get out of that trouble, you know what I mean? So your mom is working. Right. Trying to save up money to get you off a murderer. Right. In the seventh grade. Seventh grade.